As the senior bird keeper here at the World of Birds Kitchen, we're the first ones in. We set up all the diets for the rest of the bird department and any other installations that have birds within their facilities. This is the frugivore diet. Toucans, parrots, hornbills. Make sure to have all the vitamins and nutrients they need. Through my daily routine, we make over a dozen different diets for hundreds and hundreds of birds throughout the collection across the entire zoo, covering probably 10, 15 different buildings. And we will do bug tosses. We go into an exhibit and we scatter insects, crickets, worms, anything that you might utilize to get the bird's attention. We put all the vitamins and nutrients that we want the animals to get inside the bug itself. And then when the animal eats that bug, they end up eating those extra vitamins and nutrients that we want them to get. We call this the grub truck. Called it the grub truck for as long as I can remember because we deliver the grub for the bird department. Jungle World. Large bag of leftovers waiting for you. I often take care of a, a couple of ponds throughout the park. I have a variety of waterfowl on them. Come on, Mama. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, perfect. This white meat crane chick is about a month old. Parents are teaching it how to eat on its own. Want some worms? Changing out duck feeder. A very friendly bird coming over. Hi, buddy. Hi. I know, I see you, I see you. Some animals, all they know to do is to bite the hand that feeds them. This is the world of birds. This is our main bird facility. When you walk into the world of birds, the first thing you see is the bee eater exhibit. There's no screen, there's no glass. It was designed to have darkness where the guests are and the birds are in the light. Birds tend to stay in the light. And so when you walk into that exhibit, it's you and the birds. Bee eaters are pretty fascinating animals. They're designed for preying on items in the air. That's what they do. They are aerialists. So the past 10 years, we've been feeding the bee eaters crickets. We want to be able to feed these guys bees. That's an important part of their behavior and their diet. We had used bees before in the past. We had a hive on the roof of the World of Birds, but we ended up redoing our roof. We had to close down the beehive. We haven't fed our bee eaters bees in 10 years. A little over two years ago, I became senior of the World of Birds Kitchen. So I thought, you know, hey, let me do something to add a new enrichment item to their repertoire. We started reviving the beehive that was on the roof so we can have a good source of bees for the bee eaters, as well as some really, really good honey. In this coming week, we're going to be feeding bees to the bee eaters for the first time. Some of the bee eaters were not here when we had the hive, and so they've not experienced a live feeding. They have to know how to handle bees a little bit differently than crickets. It's got a stinger on it. There's venom inside. I'm anxious to see whether these birds actually have the ability to hunt. Is it a learned behavior or is it innate? I'm really excited that Tim's gonna put bees into the exhibit today. It's a very cool thing. I thought of the, the nicest, softest thing you could ever think about. The Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. We are going out onto the roof and where we get honeybees in a box. Excuse me, guys. Come on. We bring them down to our bee eater exhibit. So it will be interesting. I don't know how long it's going to take. There's a bee in the box. Yeah, so you already got some bees coming in. Three, four. 
bird two to world of birds end one. Go ahead. Hey, Patty, we're going to be doing a bee feed here as soon as we fill up our tube with the bees, just FYI, so you know that. OK, thanks. I think we're good. We're going to take this downstairs into the bee ear exhibit. <gasps> Sorry, just kidding. <laughs> Hey, Tim. How are you? Good, how are you? Okay. Holy smokes. Right? Hey, folks. Folks, watch out. We put down a screen in front of the exhibit for your safety and to keep the bees inside the exhibit. Watch your fingers, guys, so you can still see what's going on. Everybody ready? Yeah. Normally, they're used to seeing crickets, but it's different than actually having something that could be harmful to them. They're getting them. Oh, that one right there. There it is. Where is it? That's the one. That's one right there. There goes one. Get it. Get it. Good job. <laughs> so when they hit about 10, 15 feet up in the air, you can see the bee eaters come down and grab them. Really cool thing is that the bee eaters will actually eat bees different than they eat crickets or other food, uh, food prey. Bees have stingers. So the bee eaters will actually make sure that they hit the bee against the perch multiple times to make sure, one, that the bee is dead so it doesn't get sting. And then sometimes they'll actually rub the stinger and break off the stinger before they ingest it. 